Kinsey and this is Culture Journey. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Moroccan mint tea. But before you're like, oh, I'm not going to be able to make that, have no fear. I'm going to be showing you the traditional way to make it as well as my own adapted and make-do way to make it if you don't have the right stuff. Because if you know me, you know I like to improvise. And so I'm going to show you both ways and we're going to be comparing them to see if which way is better or if it's really worth it to go buy the traditional stuff or just make it your own way at home with what you have and see if it works. I'm sure you've heard of the famous Moroccan mint tea before. If you haven't, that means you haven't watched my last video and you should probably go do that. But without further ado, let's get into the kitchen and start making some of this amazing tea. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so we're doing a blind taste test. I don't know which tea is which, but I'm gonna try it and see if I can figure it out. Mmm, I like it. They're both so good. My guess is this is the traditional one and this is the improvised one. But I really like them both. But they do taste a little bit differently. Am I right? You're right? I'm right. Okay, I think I knew because I left the tea in, the traditional one, and I took it out of the improvised one. Just because, yeah. And so I think that makes it kind of stronger or less stronger, depending on how you like it. And yeah, you can also kind of leave the mint in there longer depending on how minty you want it. And how tea you want it. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It turned out so good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try this at home. Please give it a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more content about cultures or languages, please subscribe. Bye!